women are at higher risk to develop osteoporosis. Why? The reason, well, we're saying um, the, the bones are more brittle, uh, more likely to, to break because of the estrogen levels are, are lower. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the main reason of why it's more common in women as opposed to men. And she also mentioned smoking. So how does smoking damage the bones? Normally smoking, since you're smoking, that will, uh, that will clot the, the blood vessels that are going to go into the, to the bone themselves. So the bone is not receiving enough, enough oxygen. So normally the oxygen is another uh, source of food for the bone. So if you're not getting that, that amount, enough oxygen, the, the bone normally is, will become weaker and it's more prone to having fractures themselves. If someone wanted to know if they were at risk for osteoporosis or they have osteoporosis, can you take a test to find out? There's a test that is being done. Uh, normally it's called a bone density test. Okay. Um, basically what they're doing in that test um, is that they're comparing you against a healthy 20 year old uh, woman. So that you have a, an idea of how strong or brittle your bones are. And normally, unfortunately, sometimes we see those patients already when they have a fracture uh, that they were not being followed through with a bone density test and when they develop a fracture that's when uh, they are being diagnosed that they have osteoporosis. So, part wow, of so our, some don't even find out until they have the test. Correct. Wow. And uh, unfortunately on some, some of those patients what we do is that uh, once they, we are seeing them for the fracture concurrently, I'm getting them a bone density test as to why they, just to make sure the, the level, most of the time they have osteoporosis or advanced osteopenia and um, osteopenia is the precursor of osteoporosis and normally I will send those patients out to either a rheumatologist or endocrinologist to be treated for, for the osteoporosis. Now, can there be complications or other, or other conditions that can stem from osteoporosis? Complications from osteoporosis mainly, uh, mainly are fractures. However, mm -hmm. there are other uh, endocrinological conditions or what we call metabolic bone diseases that they can put the patient at risk of developing osteoporosis right. uh, or bone being a little more, more brittle, so such as uh, rickets or osteomalacia. And sometimes some medical conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis or people they, they, they have a chronic lung disease that they require uh, chronic steroid use and those patients, the steroid also induces osteoporosis. So there's also ways that people, although they, they might be younger mm -hmm. and they can, have a, they can be at risk of early onset of osteoporosis.